I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Don't make it all about you. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing in Higher Things, passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, Get the app, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, and soon Apple TV and Roku. Donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. Hey, buddy, get in your bed. In the bed. There you go. That wasn't good. I want you to take a look at this text. So often, <clears throat> I don't have the Roma, Rona. I just had a um, little cough. So often this text is used um, to talk about how great somebody's faith was. And context is key here. Um, yesterday's video, it'll be up in the corner over there, talked about how not everybody has to be a fish. Uh, I'm sorry, not everybody has to be a fisherman. Um, today's video is going to talk about a common mistake in this text where we make this all about ourselves. All right, so the text begins, we're going to do a little review of it, with Jesus pressed into the boat, in the boat, pulls a little away from the shore, he's in the boat with Simon, and he preaches the good news to the people on the shore. And then, after he's preached the good news, he tells them to go away a little bit from the shore and put out their, their um, put out into the deep and let your nets down for a catch. Now, what I want you to take a look at is verse five. Simon Peter answered, Master, we have toiled all night. Okay, we have worked all night. We've worked hard all night. And we have... Uh, we have caught nothing. We have took in nothing. Okay? Epi to ramate, but at your word, I'll cast the net. Okay? What, what, what happens here is an utter and complete disaster where this is preached as Look at the faith of Peter, and you need faith like Peter. And if you have faith like Peter, all oh, the catch of fish you'll get. And, and the cool thing about that is the preacher is resourced against you not catching fish, because if you don't catch fish, then he can just look at you and go, well, I guess you didn't believe hard enough. Get in the bed, bud. Get in your bed. Hop in the bed. What a good boy you are, and there you go. Hole in one. The text doesn't say that though. And let me tell you, here's the clue that this has gone wrong. They catch the fish, all the fish, the fish start piling up in the boat. They get the other boat. Oh, so many fish. Both boats are sinking. And Peter's reaction in verse eight is not, praise God, I believe. Name it and claim it. That's not what Peter says. What Peter says is, um, it's verse eight. He falls on his knees and he confesses sin. Ex elthe, get away from me. For I am a sinful man, Lord. Okay. Peter didn't believe that the net was going to be filled. Peter had worked all night, probably had worked those that lake many times. He knew what worked and he knew what didn't work. And he knew after all night of not catching anything, it was time to just clean the nets up and be done with it. Okay? Um, one more verse to prove my point. Verse 9. For he and um all who were with him 
were seized, they were astonished. Um, they were uh, 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 overwhelmed at all the fish that had been caught and been taken in. They did not believe that it was going to happen. They did not believe what was going to happen. And Jesus worked despite their unbelief. Oh, that was definitely a tragic throw. I got another one, buddy. That, that, that didn't work. Jesus gives despite their unbelief. And he does it in order to call them out of their unbelief, to show them what kind of God he is. I think he caught that. I'm going to believe he caught that. Um, because that's the kind of God he is. This isn't about Peter and his faith. This is about Jesus and his giving and about Jesus sending them to preach the good news. So don't make this about you. Don't make it about you. Oh, what great faith I have. Because that's not what's going on here. What's going on here is what a great Jesus this is. And another catch. What a great Jesus this is who gives such gifts to sinful men that they are stunned at how good of a gift-giving God he is. Good gifts from a good Lord. I'm Pastor George Borkart with a tragic throw. And this has been another Higher Things video short.